about that time. I don't know about you guys, but I think we need to find a good battery because our little bud, uh, the battery in it is pretty much junk. I feel like this one here has got potential. Let's test it real quick. Yep, that one's good. But we're gonna get the little bud, fire it up, and we're gonna use that to go get one of the air drills because uh, it's pretty nice out and we need to do some uh, fairly decent repairs on our air drill. A couple things we'll talk about. Let's go over and grab that little bud and get it to work. I can guarantee it ain't gonna start. get this thing to start. to take this air drill over to the shop and it's not the cart the cart's awesome but all of the openers on this drill we got new ones and we're gonna replace them all and switch the points out but the other thing that we need to do is there's a rock shaft here that controls the depth of the wings and everything and it got tweaked really really bad <laughs> so we heated up and tweaked on it and it's just never been the same so we got a CNH a uh, new rock shaft that uh, hopefully that rock shaft will fix a lot of those problems, which I know it will, because it's not tweaked. So we're gonna take this thing, haul it over, and uh, do some work to it. Get ready for seeding. Hopefully this year is a different year in uh, not dry or hail or hopefully get some rain. We need it. We need it. Oh yeah, and a lot of other people around here need it too, so. Okay, let's hook this thing up. Perfect. Love it. You got some work? You got work to do? Huh? You got work? I think you're uh, gonna take a nap for the rest of the day, aren't you? Nice.
little uh, Phillips impact adapter doohickey. Always fun to find tools outside that are rusty. It's okay, as long as we found them. Oh, I got a busy, busy day today. A lot of stuff going on. Isn't it pretty? Oh, it's lovely. All right, we got to wing this out. So what he's going to do is he's going to get in the tractor. He's going to pull some hydraulic levers. We'll figure out which ones go where. And then once he gets that figured out, uh, I will pull the pins. Okay, that one's good. All right. Not a lot is happening. Let's check these levers here real quick. There we go. That's part of the problem. Let's try that now. Okay, let's see what happens. What are we missing here? See, that's in road mode, that's correct. That should be fine. And those look like they're okay. Fun. Gotta figure it out. Another one popped out. Okay, now let's see what happens. There we go. Now we're seeing something back here. Yeah, that's not even half of them. We got a lot more to change on that air drill. You're wondering, why are we taking all those boots off and putting new boots on? Huh, that's a good question. Here's the reason why. The roll pin that holds the point on, here's a point, as you can tell. Here's the roll pin. You pound it in, as you can see right there, and it keeps it on. Just friction, that's all it keeps on. Well, we've lost a tremendous amount of uh, points, and if you think about it, each point is like 120 bucks, or it could be way more than that now, uh, to replace them, it sucks. It really sucks, you just lose that money. And then it wears down the point here, or the boot, because it's just digging in dirt, and it's not having a point on it to take all that abuse. So we are getting tired of losing them. Uh, we've, whoever had it before us either drilled them out just slightly bigger, or maybe the rust uh rusted them out so it's the roll pin doesn't fit very well so we're going to take all the boots off pound the roll pin out take the point off put the point on the new boot put a new roll pin in it put them back on and we should be good to go now how do we take the roll pin out <laughs> well i don't know about you guys but hammer and a chisel works but you beat the snot out of your hands you miss and it sucks so we took an air chisel a new uh chiseling point grounded down or in my case took it on the lathe and made it just slightly smaller than the roll pin and then you just take the air chisel bound it out and you're done and it's super fast too and it works really well so i don't know about you guys but it's a sweet little trick air chisel ground it down pound it out you're done all right let's get busy let's start changing them it's getting kind of hot in here too it's probably the beard what do you guys think? Beard, huh? Yeah, looks weird. I agree. Wasn't that fast? Like my little jig? <laughs> right? Oh, here we go. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Because we were losing points and this one's drilled out so much, we actually have a bolt in the point here to keep it on just to get us by yeah no chisel on that one 
We'll cut it off later. I'll put it aside. Love that. Absolutely love having a garage door opener. So sweet. We should have had it years ago. That is very expensive, but very, very crucial. And here's the problem. Ours got tweaked pretty bad, and this is called a rock shaft. This here is what levels the whole entire drill. So when you're lifting it out of the ground and putting it back down, it controls the depth of this side and that side to be all equal so that the hydraulic cylinders don't push one side to the, you know more than the other. What happened is when you're winging this out or winging it in, sometimes if you're not careful, there's a safety latch that, uh, <laughs> well, right here, this mechanism is a safety latch. And if you don't watch it closely and you wing up one side and it doesn't latch properly and then you start to do another process, you can tweak the rock shaft, which means <laughs> uh, one of these sides is gonna be really deep and the other side's gonna be really shallow and you're not going to have a good consistent seating depth so last year or was it the year before it was the year before that's what it was we uh we accidentally tweaked it i'm not going to name names but one of us did and we all made a really sad sigh but what we ended up doing is we heated on this beam and tweaked on it and pushed on it to try to get it straight again we did the best we could it was pretty tweaked and then <laughs> What I ended up doing is we actually had to cut and lengthen this piece here so that it would be about the same depth. Well, <laughs> it's still not perfect. It still wants to seed deeper on one side than the other side. So we got a new rock shaft because in order to get this true and perfect, it's gonna take a lot of tweaking. So that means this is where it's gonna get fun. We gotta pull all this stuff out of the way to pull that rock shaft up and out and then put the new one in. Guess what we have? A crane. That's gonna make things really nice. So yeah, let's get busy. <laughs> Ooh, fun, fun, fun. Yeah. But we have a new rock shaft and it's gonna make this thing run like brand new. Yeah. And it's gonna take an army to lift all that heavy stuff. So someone is gonna have to be a drill sergeant. But before we start pulling this apart, we want to relax this drill all the way to the ground, which means we're gonna start the tractor up, let the hydraulics down, and uh, make sure that we're not fighting gravity. Because that uh, doesn't seem very fun. Get it? Got it? Okay, let's get busy.
What a beautiful day. Oh, feels good to be working on some equipment and not mud and paint and, you know, wood. This is better. All right. 427, let's go. Um, hopefully it won't break this line. Okay. All right, it's free. Okay, do we want to go down, chain it up, or should we just try to pull up and see if it'll lift out of the, I don't know, we'll try it. Let's go up a little bit. Let's just keep lifting, you can lift it up, and then we'll pull the crane this way, and we'll just slide it out. This side, and I can hold this, it's not too bad. Okay, that's good. Okay, shove it that way. Get free. Oh. All right, lift it up some. Let's swing it out. Hang on, hang on. Yee haw! Come on, Nick. Lady Gaga is so last year, Scott. Hey! <laughs> All right, you can put it down. No, I'm not doing it. Put it down. Put it down, Nick. <laughs> Stop! Stop it. Not funny, Nick. Uh, I don't like this, Nick. A little terrifying. I can knock this one in. Okay. Well, there we go. Rock shafts out, new ones in. And you can't see it on the camera very well, but I can just see this beam it just got a nice curl on the end. The best way to do that is if you had a <clears throat> massive, massive press. And you're able to put this in and press it and keep pressing it until you get it perfectly true and square but it's slightly twisted, so you'll probably have to cut off the end and re-weld it, but we're not gonna do that right now. We might, chances are we probably won't, but it's on.
it's a good feeling. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. We're getting the Series 1 unhooked from the air drill. We basically had it hooked up just to pull the air drill around in the yard because this was the only track that was uh, running at the time. But now we've got the Series 3 going. So leg arm is slowly putting it over here, warming it up. We'll hook on the 35 air cart and then start the process of getting it calibrated and figured out. And then uh, yeah, we'll move on to the next thing. Getting disgusting. The cost of everything. Now oh, this is no news to you guys. You know inflation's going nuts, but this right here, two hundred and thirty some dollars for a flat face half inch hydraulic connector. We get a discount because we got a business account, so it was one hundred and twenty some dollars, twenty six dollars or something, one hundred twenty six. But isn't that nuts for that? Ten years ago, it was probably thirty bucks. Maybe 50. Now that we got the cart all hooked up, I just checked in the 700 sod, so we're good there. Everything's buttoned up here. That's nice. And uh, right now over here, Leg Arms is putting on a new piece. These are, to my knowledge, new, new, as in they just started making them. But it's uh, an arm that goes in place of this piece of iron right here. And what it does is it gives you adjustment. It's like a big turnbuckle almost. So that way, if for some reason you do tweak your drill a little bit or something, you can use this to adjust and level the sides easier without having to do anything crazy with all the wheel adjustments. So we're pretty excited about that. We're putting them on both drills. We're gonna try it out and see how it works. So first things first, taking that out. And that's the new rock chef we put in too. Yeah, we need a length of this to make the length of that. Um, back on. There we go. How does this compare to this one? They're close. This one's got rubber. I just dropped something. Everything's greased, hooked up, not calibrated, but we're good for that unit. But before all this rain and snow that's coming, tonight and tomorrow, we want to get the other air drill over here, and it's parked over at our bin yard, plus the Mandaco 80, 85 foot land roller. So we need to get both those back over here where we can work on them, but so it's not soggy over there next week trying to get them out. So Leg Arms is grabbing the Series 2 525. Dad's grabbing the Series 1. And uh, I'm gonna grab the Can-Am Defender. Maybe a drone. Let's go chase some big buds and grab some implements. Let's go. Yeah. 